show 20 and 22. The next spiritual baptism. And that's the one in the name of who? In the name of Jesus. But just like God breathed on Adam, Jesus breathed on the disciples. But that breath was different because the first breath was for man to become a living soul and to receive God's image and to receive God's likeness and to receive the five blessings, right? But Jesus' breath wasn't for that, Minister Sharon. It was to receive him. It was to receive Jesus. When Jesus breathed upon the disciples, that wasn't a water baptism either. Be baptized in the name of the Son. It was salvation. Can you say salvation? But well, 1 John 2 and 27 say, the anointing you receive of him. Yes. Of him means you receive him. Yes. From him means you receive something. Amen. I give you this. She take my notes. She received it from me. You see what I'm saying? That's something from me. Something of me is me. Is that right? Hallelujah. Something of me is me. So that means they receive Jesus. And Jesus, what does Jesus specialize in? The fruit of the Spirit. The attributes of Christ. Same like Adam. Adam received God's image and God's likeness. So, receive salvation, Dr. Paul, when you receive Jesus. You also receive who he is and what he is, and that is the anointing. You remember when the day of Pentecost had fully come? They were all in one place and in one accord. And what it did, Dr. Paul, it came. It came. It came. Somebody, oh, I feel a run coming on. Come on here now. It came. It came as a rushing mighty wind. Hallelujah. It came as a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all them that were seated in that place. It appeared on top of their head. Little tongues of fire. Can you say fire, Tanisha? Fire. Fire. Can you say fire, y'all? Fire. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Fire. Fire. Yes. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were in one place, in one accord. Hallelujah. And it came from the King James Version. Hallelujah. It came. Came into the place. Hallelujah. They began to, to speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. They, they had baptism then, huh? Hallelujah. The Bible says in Acts 1 and 8, after that the Holy Ghost have come upon you. Hallelujah. You shall receive power. You shall be witnesses both of me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and even to the uttermost part of the earth. Why? Because of the fire. The, what does the fire represent? The fire the power of God. Give, give God some praise. The power! Give us the power! The power of the Holy Ghost. That's the one we all want. We want that power. But just like Jesus is the anointing, He don't just have the anointing, He is the anointing. He don't just have the anointing, Dr. Paul. He is the anointing. The Holy Ghost. He doesn't just have the fire and the power. He is 
the power of the Holy Ghost. Give God some praise tonight and shame the devil! Hallelujah! Matthew say, one more time, go into all the world, preach the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father. See, now you know what it means. And in the name of the Son. When he said the name of the Father, think about Adam. In the name of the Son, think about the disciples when he breathed upon them. Or when you got saved. See, when you got saved, Jesus came into your heart, into your life. Hallelujah. And you became a new creature in who? Christ Jesus. Because you didn't receive salvation from him, you received it of him. He came in. Hallelujah. To consummate the agreement. Give God some praise tonight. And share the devil. And say, I will not leave you. I will not, never forsake you. But Peter got a little feisty, Dr. Paul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, we don't know what's wrong with this man. Hallelujah. He must have had a little something to drink. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then Peter said, hallelujah. These men are not drunk as you suppose. For it's only about the, the third hour. And the third hour, in Jewish terminology, is nine o'clock in the morning when most people don't be drinking. He said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. He said, But they're filled. They're filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. And with some powerful. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peter preached a sermon that was so feisty. I don't, I, you know, it was a toss up between him and Brother Jeff when he get excited. Hallelujah, glory to God, huh? that the Bible said that over 3,000 was added to the church. That had to be a powerful service, right? That had to be a powerful sermon. Hallelujah. But it wasn't Peter. It wasn't even Peter's chapel. And it wasn't even the sermon. It was the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Breath of God. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Give Him a standing ovation. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus, for what you are. In the mighty name of the devil. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to take my seat. It don't look like I have nobody to give the mic to, so I might have to give it some help. Hallelujah. See, the Holy Ghost, he did just like God did. He did just like Jesus did. Hallelujah. When they all was in the room, and they was waiting on the promise, and the promise uh, is the Holy Ghost. Uh, when they was waiting, uh, when they was in one accord, uh, hallelujah, the Bible said it came. Uh, it came uh, as a rushing uh, mighty wind. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God, a rushing mighty wind. It was rushing in there. It rushed in there. It rushed in there. That's how Peter got to preach that sermon. Even though Peter was already saved because Jesus had already bread upon him. But he was just getting filled with the Holy Ghost for the first time. The Holy Ghost, the reason that it came as it did. A rushing mighty wind. Hallelujah. Jesus, when he breathed upon him, he cleaned Peter out. Peter was saved. Glory to God, he consecrated him. It made him holy and everything. He said, thank you, Jesus. But he still didn't have the power of the Holy Ghost. You see, because there's two different anointings. One anointed when Jesus breathed upon you, it goes within. It goes within. But the other one, the Bible said, goes upon you. Can you say thank you, Jesus? The other one goes upon you. The other one goes, first one goes within, and the second one goes upon you. Acts 1 and 8. I call it. After that, the Holy Ghost have come upon you. Can you say upon me? Not of me like Jesus, but upon me. Upon. See, the Holy Ghost come upon you for service. 
He's not coming upon you just to live in you like Jesus. He's coming upon you to use you. You see, they got people, they want to use the Holy Ghost. You can't use the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is God himself. Can you say praise the Lord? You can't use God. You can't make a mockery out of God. You got to let the Holy Ghost use you. You heard what I said? Some people want to use that power. Never use the power. Let the power use you. Give God some praise tonight. Hallelujah. Let the power use you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Run is for living. That's when Jesus breathed upon you. The other one is for service. That's to help your ministry. You let the Holy Ghost use you. That's why when Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost, over 3,000 was added into the church. Yeah. Hallelujah. That must have been some kind of power. Is that right? Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 That must have been some kind of power. Yeah. That was the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And God is no respecter of persons. If he did it for Peter, he's going to do it for you. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah. Give God some praise right where you are. Give God some praise right where you are. Hallelujah. Come on now. You can do better than that, Paul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give God some praise right where you are. Ain't nobody man but the devil. Ain't nobody man but the devil. Did you expect any love? How many of y'all enjoyed the service tonight? How many? I'm not just talking about me, but the whole service. Come on. Give the Lord a wave off there. Did you expect any less, sir? Did you expect any less, sir? Hallelujah. God want to give you the fullness, sir. Hallelujah. Some of you are standing for crumbs, sir. But God said, be baptized, sir. In the name of the Father, sir. In the name of the Son, sir. In the name of the Holy Ghost, sir. And teaching others to do the same. Hallelujah. And you're looking at a woman of God been doing it for 23 years. It's not long. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Give honor where honor is due. Hallelujah. Give tribute to House of Faith, non-denomination ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. You must first believe that he is. That he is who? That he is God. That he's a reward of them that diligently seek it. Come on now. Give God some praise tonight. Hallelujah. Jump on that guitar again. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord Jesus.